At beginning of the video, every time I say welcome to certain cities, but in this case, I won't, out of respect. I still cry every time I look at this video. This is probably the saddest place I've ever traveled in my life. Especially in the whole trip, but this trip was extremely important for me personally to learn the horrifying story and the history of the World War II. I'm not going to bore you with a lot of historical boring stuff, but I sh it's my responsibility to explain you what happened. Between 1.1 and 1.5 million people died at Auschwitz, you know, 90% of them were Jew. Also, along the dead were some 90 19,000 Roma who were held at the camp until the Nazi gassed them on July 31, 1944. The only other victim group gassed in family units alongside the Jews. The Poles constituted the second largest victim group at Auschwitz, where some 83,000 were killed or died. Auschwitz was actually three camps in one, a prison camp, an extermination camp, and a slave labor camp. As the most little of the Nazi extermination camp, Auschwitz has become the emblematic side of the final solution, a virtual synonym for the Holocaust. We were visiting there during the winter time at January, which was the coldest time in Poland. And when I was looking at those pictures, most of the people were died pretty much during the same period. Not because they were exterminated, because of the heavy labor. Because it's practically impossible to live with the tiniest clothes available in the coldest period of the year. I learned a lot during this trip, but I felt sick. The following photos were taken mostly with my smartphone because I didn't take my fancy camera out of respect. So forgive me, normally most of my photos are with Fuji XC20 but this time you will going to look at some photos that I've taken with my HTC U11 and my wife's smartphone. And I would like to say enjoy the photos, but I hope not.
I see you in Bratislava.